May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Okay. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today, I'll be reacting to Charlie Debate Popo Hired Leftist about gender. So, without further ado, let's get started. I got a question. Sure. Oh, what was your name again? I'm sorry. I don't think I told you. My name is Mercury. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to re meet you, I should say. What do you hope to get out of this? Why are you here? Okay, I, I, I've been asked that question a lot. First of all, that question should not even have to be asked, but when people stop talking, really bad stuff starts. When marriages stop talking, divorce happens. When church starts happening, they fall apart. When civilization stop talking, civil war ensues. When you stop having a human connection with someone you disagree with, it becomes a lot easier to want to commit violence against that group. Whether it be the great genocide, the horrible genocide of the last 100 years, people stop talking with each other because they lose their humanity. I wish we could be here without having my hat thrown off and stuff, but what, what we as a culture have to get back to is being able to have a reasonable disagreement where violence is not an option. Do you think that what this sign says is like a way to introduce this discussion? Is yeah, you think that sign isn't violent? You think that's not emotional violence? You know, you don't How is this violence? What, what, what is emotional well. violence, by the way? That, I don't know what that is. It is harm intentionally perpetrated on another person, be another human being, that is intentionally targeted at their emotional well-being. Okay, so feelings mean nothing to me. Very clear message. What's yeah, a, what, what's the, tell me what the clear message is. What is it? This is a very clear message that you are so against it, dude. By not what am I like, against? By, by like, re, you should rewrite it or something. Say, like, I believe there are only two genders. Let's have a discussion. Not, there are only two genders. That is a very but, but, hard you, but, statement. But why, is the, why are both of you so bothered But why this says, what this is saying? But it's just a discussion. It's like, that's what I don't understand. That's true. If, this, if this triggers you guys so much, then you have the no, voluntary capacity to leave. The sign is not him telling people let's have a discussion. This sure is it is. Like, this is a statement just saying there are only two genders. C correct, and that's what starts a conversation and a discussion. It's not in... That's not the best way to start a conversation. So well, look around. Well, I, I have, I've had nothing but respect and love for you throughout this whole conversation, have See, I not? See, I think the problem... Maybe I haven't. Maybe I... The problem I'm seeing here, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that you think you can say things like this no, there are only two I, genders. I can say stuff like that. No, and then say that you don't promote violence. I don't promote violence. Not I'm not inciting not violence, violence against anyone. I would never condone violence against any specific group. Ever. Okay. And, and so the, 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 here's where we had a, this is so important. Don't misinterpret this for where it's not. Now, if I had a sign that says transgenderism is a mental disorder or it's evil, which people do come on campus and say. You're right. I've experienced that. That's not I me. am transgender and I know what that feels like. Oh, okay, again, so don't loop me into that category. I am making a biological observation and statement that is rooted in fact and evidence of which I've shared for the last hour and a half, respectfully and with dialogue and discussion for everyone to allow their opinions heard. So isn't this the proper way to do this? No, I don't think so. Have I, have, I not, have I embodied respect in the way I've done this? Maybe I haven't. Yeah. I mean... What, 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 what? It looks like a 2015 page. I mean, it's not really that crazy. What, what, what is, I mean, I, why does that bother you guys? Why does it bother you that people identify as something other than male or female? It doesn't. I've never said it bothers me. So then why are you doing this? Because I'm making an observa a sociological observation. I said there's, there's three reasons why to do it. First of all... So you couldn't just leave it alone? But is, isn't, it, isn't speech all about challenging things that are difficult? Isn't, isn't why we have the First Amendment to try to push our boundaries and to hear things that might make you mildly uncomfortable? This doesn't make me mildly uncomfortable. Does it make you very uncomfortable? It makes me angry. Why That's does it? What it makes but, me. Okay, so because you, uh, you are denying the existence of people. I have never said that, nor have but I that's inferred what this that. Sign does. How? Because you're saying that people who identify no, as a gender other what, than what male is the, or female. What does the sign say? Your sign says there are only two genders. That's all it says. You're right. Okay, Words so, have don't, meanings. so don't have inference behind it. Well, I, I, I think towards the ending, she shot herself because this is what science says. Science says we only have two gender, which is two chromosomes, the X and Y chromosome. And you admitting it that, yes, this is what science says, shows that, yes, we only have two gender. You know, you trying to identify as this is like um, imposing something on yourself because let's say, I have a building or I have my house and someone entered my house and someone say, okay, I identify to be the owner of this house. Does it make sense? No, I'll kick you out of my house because I know this is my house. And that is what you are doing. You are a male trying to identify yourself as a female. 
So you are trying to enter a place that you don't belong simply because you feel you can identify yourself by making use of your mouth or maybe your appearance. And to me, it does not make sense. And that is what, you know, Charlie is trying to point out. And he will keep on saying it so long as this stuff exists because it is true. And he's not saying it's psychological or whatever. He's just saying this is what is happening and this is wrong, okay? If you have been born a male, be a male. If you have been born a female, be a female. There's no point identifying as something you are not. And that is true because, you know, um, our, our younger generation are looking up to us and whatever we do, they copy. That is why I'm totally against, you know, um, schools teaching children about this stuff. I feel they are not up to the age to learn this. So at least you let them be up to a certain age, at least a legal age, which is in some countries 18, some countries 21, at least before you start introducing them to this. If they want to do it, they can, you know, go into it. But I, well, anyway, let's, let's just jump back to it. And I feel she's pained simply because she is a trans and um, Charlie is trying to, you know, talk, say his opinion about, you know, trans people and the reason why what they are doing is not the right way. Or let me use the word, not the right way. Because, you know, when you go to the hospital as a woman, you are expected to either give birth to a male baby or a female baby. So those are the two sex. So now trying to you know add a whole lot of sex i think that there's a video charlie did that charlie was asking a certain woman how many gender are they she was like there are there are hundreds there are millions and she was like okay charlie was like just name five and she wasn't able to name because it's still male and female no matter what you choose to identify yourself you are still male and female when you go home look at yourself in the mirror with your clothes off you will see yourself you are either a male or a female and <clears throat> That is it. There is no in between. Well, anyway, I I love how, you know, cool this um, dialogue went at the beginning part of the the video. You know, when the the lady said she never told Charlie her name and the tone she used, I I felt like she was in for war. And I I know Charlie. Charlie is not a beginner. So when with that tone, he already know what to expect. He already know how to tackle your question. And I say Charlie as more of a politician. You know, when you ask a politician question. He answer your question and look for a way to ask you another question, you know, trying to make the conversation about you, okay? Because we already know how Charlie's view. So Charlie wants to know about your view. So he always throw the question back to you. Um, what do you think about this? What is this? What is this? To make you talk more. And that is it. That is, that is what I, I, I love about him, you know. It is wise to listen instead of just talking and talking and talking. Because the more you listen, the more you learn. The more you know why people are doing what they do. And if you say it's not something that is, you know, making sense, you can talk them out of it or advise them. But this is a beautiful one. I enjoyed the dialogue, as I said. And I would definitely want to check out more videos like this. If you have any recommendation, let me know in the comment section. If it is the first time visiting the channel, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I remember this.